mentors Andrew Buckland always used to say to us there are only 10 stories in the world it just depends how you tell them um, and I think when I started reading Morphe for many months I didn't actually know what my entry point was going to be until probably about four months ago and I phoned Andre Carl and I said to him it's on page 273 <clears throat> I think I finally got it and he was like uh, Dylan's suicide note and it became such a big moment for me because I've never really understood how bad things would have to get in order for somebody to get to that point where they'd be wanting to take their own life. Um, and I think that really started speaking very strongly to me about the, the theme of isolation. When I, when I was exposed to this, um, I, it was mind-blowing. And I, the only way I could process any of this was to write it down. And in fact, um, there's one part of, of, of Bailey's interpretation of the book um, that is that was so powerful. Um, after a, a, an enormously intense um, dance sequence, um, Bailey lies on a, on a thermal on his metal trunk on his back, and 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 he quotes um, from these diaries, and uh, that was so emotional for me when I when I heard that. Empty. It's not when there's no longer anything inside. But when a container can never hold anything ever again. Lonely is not when there's nobody. Lonely is when there is, and you walk away. The work doesn't deal with, you know, men just wanting to get off with each other, but it really is just about wanting comfort and wanting to be held and wanting a warm body close to you. And I think that is something that everybody can relate to. Um, so the work isn't, yes, it is a gay-based work and it is a gay theatre piece, but I think it really speaks to everybody um, who has ever been in a moment where they feel a bit disconnected from themselves <clears throat> or just a little unloved. No, you want to know, I tried, but I know it's so hard for you to do that. Sometimes running out is often and does and often dictate that you can't do that. They can break this feeling inside that's burning up through my veins. I really want you. Sometimes we, ha we can't use words to describe things. Um, <clears throat> words diminish all the thoughts we have in our heads you know as soon as we start trying to articulate it it just kind of loses the essence of what it is and to be able to really tap into the physical and emotional experience of a moment and if you can reenact that moment then I think it's the, the best way to go and I think that's why I always attempt to go for the movement based uh, idea of, of telling a story.